Hey, welcome back. I uh, hope you got some, some protein. Uh, I, I run on some protein. Uh, I, I'm not afraid of sugar. Maybe I should That's be. Good. That's good. We're going to find okay. out about that in That's a second. Okay. But some protein, and I know some of you went to get some caffeine. That's great because we got a lot of stuff to cover in this next segment. It, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but these are all interrelated, and there's nothing you can do about it. You can't just <laughs> pull one thing out and go here so okay. we're adding more to that um, and then hopefully uh, we'll get some resources to help us learn more because we're not going to learn it all in the next 50 minutes that ain't going to happen so we need to know where to go next so um so this section is um what long-term care am i going to need and i think the answer to that is the legal answer we give all the time and is that depends mm -hmm. yep. uh, and we it's, it, there's some things we can do and then how do I plan for it so I've got I've got technical stuff and then I've got technical and family stuff hopefully we can pull a team together uh, so D Childers is the founder of life changes elder care con consulting I can talk later they were saying you can't talk I can talk <laughs> consulting LLC um, you are, I don't know what N-A-C-C-M is. It's a, it's a big acronym that, bottom line, they certify care managers. Oh, okay, very good. Um, and you are. You are a certified care manager. You and I have worked together. 12 years. Holy cow. I know. Yeah. There's a lot of longevity in this room. There is. Uh, there is. And uh, thank you to Carly. Your bio and qualifications are just too long to even go into. <laughs> we won't have so much time, so we don't have all that. Um, but you've been there personally. Right. That's something that we've shared. Um, and so we... Uh, I learned the hard way what we're going to talk about today. So if I can prevent others from having that experience, that's well, my goal. Yeah, and I don't know that you can prevent it. And we'll ask this question. I don't know if you can prevent it, but we can make it a little easier. Right. Right? We exactly. can get to it a little sooner. Uh, Teresa Halderson, um, without an H, though. It's without My an sister H. is Teresa with an H. Mm, yes. Um, you're a, you s the senior nursing consultant and owner of Optimal Aging. Yes. Um, and um, so you are a nurse. I am a nurse. You have a master's in this kind I of thing, too. I have a master's too. in this thing. Yes, I do. I have 25 plus years of acute care, ER, ICU. Oh, my gosh. Education. I've been the director of a nursing program, and now I have my own business owner. So... <clears throat> You get a little intense when we talk about the health um, outcomes, what's ahead of us, and right. that's probably why, is because you've been doing this so Doing this long. for a little while. Yeah, I've studied it. I've taught it. And you probably think that there are things that we can do about it. I would like to think okay. so. Okay, all right. Well, we'll yes. talk about that in just yes. a second. Okay. So... D, these are the odds. So for those of you at home, um, we have uh, a cheat sheet up there behind you. And so we have been referring to that. I've tried very hard to make it nonchalant so that they didn't know that. So yeah. this is now. So the, now you reveal the secrets. Yeah. Now this, yeah. Yep. Yep. Here we go. Yeah. So now, now we know. know. Um, so, and I think you've mentioned these same statistics. Mm -hmm. These are... These are knowable. This is not, hey, we know something that you can't know. These right, are yeah. knowable. So, yeah. D, take us through these, if you will. Thank you, Mark. I'd be happy to. So, someone today turning 65 has a 70% chance of needing some type of long-term care in their lifetime. 50% mm -hmm. of 65-year-olds will need long-term care for less than five years, and 25% are going to need more than five years. Okay, okay. Yep. Here's the question. Uh -huh. I don't want to know the answer. Okay. But I'm going to ask it. Okay. Um, need for less than five years, is that because they die and then they don't need long-term care anymore? Well, that's one option. <laughs> it all but, depends. But as you <laughs> said, it all it depends. depends. <laughs> yes. I mean, we have um, many people who age well. 
um, and are doing all of the things to keep themselves mm -hmm. aging well. So there's a lot of information yeah. out there about how to age well. Okay. So yeah. it's not just that they're going to need it for less than five years. They, they may not need that much, is right. what you're saying. Right. Not because right. they leave us and then don't right. need it. Okay. Situations are different for each person. All right. right. Okay. Right. So women live longer typically than men, typically. although we know that statistic is changing as well. Is it really? Yes. Well, yes. Yeah. Change in the world has made a difference to the stress level that women experience. Oh. And some of the same bad behaviors that men have had over the years, more women are doing as well. So, but still, <laughs> we tend to live longer and consequently like more likely to need long-term care for longer. Oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, the current stats talk about 3.7 years versus a man who needs 2.2 years. Well, I mentioned to clients, husband and wife one time that, you know, statistically the, the men go first and she put her hands on her hips and said, that's because you want to. Um, <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what she meant by that. <laughs> I thought it was. Yeah, so it might little... depend on the marriage. Oh, I kind of got that. <laughs> kind of got that. And and I, I thought maybe it's because we didn't want to clean the garage again. Um, okay, so um, Teresa, all of this depends on our individual situations. Oh, yes. uh, we've got uh, every family. Every individual has you know some family. Um, um, history things that they have to work through. We inherit certain genes and oh, that yes. all... Oh, yes. Okay, no, so... Everybody has their own aging process. There's different physiological issues based on genetics, lifestyle. Okay. Are, are big factors um, and chronic diseases that people have, have developed over time. A lot of that would be genetically driven as well as lifestyle. Got it. Lifestyle choices are huge. Now, mm -hmm. yeah, there's so much to un unwrap here. Oh, yeah. Um, How about just getting older in general? Well, I, you know, the, the, the couple, three times that we've talked, um, the words that came out of your mouth, like almost every other sentence was the fall. Oh, yeah. Um, which is very common, right? This is right, the fall. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so um, perhaps that's where we should start. Yeah. There's the physiological changes. Oh, We've yeah. got the gravity thing. Everybody Our bodies are aging. Yeah. What can we do? What can you do? Well, you've got you've got vision changes. You've got hearing changes. Yeah. Um, and with that comes balance issues if there's chronic diseases now, that affect right isn't it the hearing is really related to balance oh absolutely okay yes as is vision okay i mean your ability to interpret your environment your ability to maintain your balance um people are more likely to fall as they get older you know one out of four older adults 65 years and older is is are gonna, gonna fall gonna have and experience fall. a major injury where they end up in a hospital or have a, a an injury that will impact them and their mobility for the duration. Okay, so two things here then that I'm seeing is there's the, the physical, mm -hmm. but there's also an environmental aspect to this. What can we do from the environmental aspect? So, you know, there are some basic things that are very important to do in mm -hmm. our homes as we age, which is mm -hmm. remove obstacles. And probably the number one, wouldn't you say, Teresa, floor number rugs. one obstacle are <laughs> pro rugs. Floor rugs, big <laughs> one. Um, and grab bars. Because we, we catch not. our foot, we mm -hmm. slip on something, but catching our toes, of which I yeah. am guilty of myself. You walk it along and all yeah. of a sudden it's up a little bit in the corner for whatever reason, mm -hmm. and down we go. And it is not a pretty mm -hmm. picture. And we all so, know the most, the, 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 the scariest and most dangerous room in the house for older adults. You probably know what this is. It's the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Bathrooms have hard surfaces, pointy corners, wet surfaces. That is the most dangerous room in the house for an older adult. Well, I thought, I thought the living room was with the 1973 high sh pile shag 
burnt orange. No, it's the TV with the rabbit ear antennas. Oh, that's well, sorry. you got that too. But then the runner. <laughs> right, the my, runner. My dad in law hammered it down. Yep. And then you go into the hall and there's no lighting. And then you but have, you're yeah. saying that oh, that yeah. second, the bathroom the, might be. The floor, yeah. Okay. And then you add pets. Oh, pets are huge. Pets are huge. Well, we they like to huge. be there. Very close they to right us. underneath your feet, yes. and they're a trip hazard. So, <laughs> so I get to go home to my wife and say <laughs> the ninety-two pound golden retriever. Good luck with that. Um, we have to get rid of her. Is that what I need to go home and say? No. Oh, jeez, I was kind of hoping. Oh, sorry, Mark. <laughs> I, d I don't think that's what you want to say and stay that, married. That life expectancy thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I see. That's a, one of them. Okay. However, mm -hmm. training can go a long ways to make sure yes. your pet knows not to be underfoot. Got it. So there are, yeah. there are things to do about it. Although mm -hmm. I, I have a 16-year-old Lasso Opso, and her way of knowing where to, she is in the world is to be glued to my leg. Yes. Yeah. And so, a leaner? Yep, a oh. leaner. And they're at every turn. Oh. And so that constant awareness, you can't let it out of your mind. So, so yeah, so that's two ways, right? right? There's oh, the right. training Absolutely. of our beloved pet, mm -hmm. but there's also the training here. Yeah. Don't oh. turn so fast. Right. Our, yeah. Especially our... your, your inner ear will affect your turns. <laughs> yes. Well, that yeah. and this 92 pound pile of fur mm -hmm. right there behind you. With because... dog toys. Oh, the dog toys. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, um, so is there a way to get an, an assessment? Should folks should folks contact us and go, mm -hmm. would you come to the house? Do you, you do that kind of thing, right? Absolutely. Yes, I know both, both Teresa yeah. and I Teresa, do you that. do that yes, thing too? I do too? the same exact thing. Yes. Comprehensive assessment where yep. we're looking at everything. Not yes. We're looking at everything. Most people are amazed yeah. at the things that we look mm -hmm. at, it is. including things like your gait. You know, oh, how yeah, you yeah. stand up and walk and as mm -hmm. we're watching and what we see. So it oh, kind of gets back to balance. So there's while. so many things that you can pick up on. Yeah. Um, Do you go with, in, okay. Do you go in and pick up their shoes and see where they're worn? You can. <laughs> you, you can. I like to watch the gate first. Yeah, that's yeah. probably But yeah. no, better. really, it, right. you have to look right. at what's the individual's goals and then look at their environment. But, you know, what are their chronic conditions? what medications are all are, they're on because medications can be a huge impact on someone's fall risk got so, that yeah. all right so um again two 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 parts to this there's the 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 folks that are on here for themselves mm -hmm. and then there's the kids right and uh, thank you kids for being on Please. this is yes, this yes, is yes. huge we stuff need you. Your, your family needs you. So, um, what should the kids do? What should mom and dad do with and or for the kids? Well, so we're doing this assessment. Mm -hmm. What do the kids need to know? So family dynamics can get really interesting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and one of the things that I find to be really helpful and for the adult children to realize is they might your parents might not want to talk to you about some yeah. things, but they'll talk to us as professionals. Uh, uh -huh. So we're, we're the out-of-town guns, so to speak. And so yeah. Yeah. often I find that's how we are invited in, is the adult children recognize mom and dad mm -hmm. are not comfortable maybe talking about their finances or yeah. some of their concerns. Oh, yeah. But if Absolutely. they invite us in, they'll talk to us about it and, yeah. and share. And we can get a lot of information. And usually mm -hmm. by the end of the assessment, which for yeah. us is five visits because I yeah, find it takes four visits just to do the assessment of all of the areas. People get tired yeah. when we're around yes, and do. then to go back and present. And by that time, I find mom and dad receptive yeah. to yeah. having the oh, care there. The there. So then mm -hmm. the kids get the information and they hear it from us as yeah. well and yeah. then we problem solve or we figure out you know here's how we can help yeah here's some resources to help do that and mm -hmm. then do you guys want to implement this on your own or would you like some help here and yeah. there or do you Absolutely. want us to just do it so there's yeah. lots of options there and and the decision goes back to the to the senior 
you know, as long as they have the capacity mm -hmm. to make their own decisions, then they're in charge and they may say, you know, I'm good here, but I want some help here and here. Yeah. And, you know, to Teresa's point, medications is usually one of the things oh, I, I would say 90% of the time mm -hmm. when we go in to do um, medication reviews and audits, we find an error. And, oh. and people are, are a little mm -hmm. dumbfounded. It's how they're taking oh, it, when yeah. they're taking it. Oh, and um, why they're taking it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, they the don't whole how to do it and the, and the routine, you know, how frequent do I take this? And then taking medications so, with food or without food. Yeah. And then if anyone's been in the hospital and they come home, the risk the for medication errors is like 90%. Because there's always changes. I was going to say, so ends up they're going, sending you home and yeah. here's another medication yeah. you need to be taking. Well, and you got physicians who don't talk to one another. No. So you end up with multiple no. caregivers. And you've got the medications overlap, and they complement each so do, other, or they ruin each two, other. Do you two? Did you yes. two go in and coordinate that so Absolutely. that we're going to hold yes. it just a second? You're taking this, yes? I take that. Yes. I take it twice a day. Okay, all right. Yeah. You shouldn't be taking this one. Right. Or, Absolutely. I, I will. I will look at them. I will have them discuss things with the care provider. Yeah. I will. There's the beers medication list of medications that the older adults should not be on. Oh and should be am evaluated I, closely. Am I an older adult? And we're not talking beer, Mark. Uh, no, well, we're not talking heard, beer, we're talking the beer medical. Yeah, I, you're right. I heard that. And, don't, I and alcohol and beer. You don't want to combine those either. Oh my gosh. Uh, I could see that as being a... And that goes back to the falls, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So here's the next question. How often do the kids know what the medications are? How often do they not know? Where to find them. Well, yeah, where to find them could be yeah. everywhere. Yeah. So that's one yeah. of the problems is there's yeah. some by the bed stand, some in the bathroom, oh some in the oh. kitchen. And some in the purse. And then, you know, there's some, yes, there's the some that counter. are like in the cupboard. So yeah. do we, are we taking this one or are we not? Yeah. So there, that's usually that medic, that mm -hmm. organization is a really key piece is Got just it. figuring Got out medication what, what, what is the legitimate yeah. medication list and how do we mm -hmm. get rid of, and there's a whole process for that. Yeah. Like I never just yeah. take things. I kind of say, hey, let's yeah. put these things in a Ziploc bag and stick them in the laundry room above the washing machine in case you need them they're there but let's get them out uh, of the yeah, area got it. and you know so yeah. it's it's having yeah. the experience yeah. and done doing yeah. this long enough to know you know oh, you, yeah. you don't come in and take over never do that that's no. going to get you no. in trouble every time you're yep. talking to the yeah. kids right i'm now. talking to the kids right now <laughs> do yes. not come in and take over well and the adults i mean oh, I, grandma I, I, doesn't I want everything taken away uh, from no, her either I, I know. Like, exactly. driving don't take but, away my kids but it's a, it's for us as well it's the respect yeah. these are these mm -hmm. are adults they've lived a long yeah. life longer than we have and so yeah. to be respectful and help them move forward in a manner that is safer Safe. for them. Safe. Well, so yeah. at my house, our grandkids live in other places, but we have two very young ones. And so even though they're not there very often, um, the medications for me go yeah. up here, mm -hmm. not on Absolutely. the, the Absolutely. bed stand or in the drawer. That just yes. I, I, that's Makes hard for nervous. me. But but again, these are people yeah. that have some mm -hmm. challenges mobility wise. Well, they can. Mm -hmm. Yes, it all depends on where. Back to that depends word you said. Yeah, yeah do you know? <laughs> Pun intended. Pun intended. Yes. <laughs> well, <I'm, laughs> Multiple puns there. Maybe. Maybe um, maybe views that once or twice. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. You know. Okay, so um, help me to understand then some things that because I I I have learned that our physical health or our our uh, cognitive health is connected to our physical health mm -hmm. and vice versa and 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 yeah, then absolutely. vice versa so um give us some maybe down and dirty things to do to keep our physical health maybe slow the decline slow i mean decline. we're in the process of dying that that's hard for people to hear, but mm -hmm. yes. that's <laughs> fortunately it's a one way. It's I, a one way ticket in this world. Yeah. Yes. No exercise. Okay. You know, walking to and from I work. Exercise. Remember when we met and you were saying, oh, I wasn't going to walk to our uh, meeting. Yeah. yeah. Walking, 
um, using your main core muscles, Pilates, Tai Chi, are excellent exercises for older adults as is swimming and, and walking and getting outside. Getting those, those muscles, your core muscles are huge in terms of maintaining your balance, being able to pivot, Get up Being off the floor. Walk. That's what getting off yourself. the floor with, is get huge. Off and there's actually yeah. there's actually a skill getting up off the floor. Right. Well, and teach and, people and how your to do that. ability get off the floor to get yeah. off the floor is an assessment right there of uh, your yeah. your strength and your ability to. So yeah. crawling um, over to the recliner and pulling yourself out is an indication that there, there might may be there's other some issues? opportunities. Yes. 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 Opportunities. Yes, there's some opportunities for <laughs> we have, improvement. Yes, we have learning I, opportunities. You know, I'm 67, and I know I, it's. This is not impressive if you're a weightlifter, but I deadlift 127 pounds. Oh goodness! So you know that my goal, I can pop up off the floor, and I Good. fully intend to stay that Good. way. So. Good. You know, doing yeah. um, all those things that you yeah. talked about are important, yeah. but also doing some weights. You know, that's good yeah. for our oh, bones. Absolutely, you need to do and the weights. Building um, muscles. Muscle. Yeah. So that's... it's it's the, it's the walking and the strength yeah. training and yeah. coordination. I mean, I I stand on one foot periodically. You should. That's what's nice about Pilates and Tai Chi. Mm -hmm. Is it really works on that balance because you got to mm -hmm. tighten up all those core muscles to to maintain right. your balance. The other thing is walking actually stimulates your osteocytes. Those are the little bone cells. Mm -hmm. And so um, for women, that's really, that's important, really important to maintain that, that bone strength because that helps and you it, and it gives in, your, in returns to bouncing back. And it gives you a 92-pound golden retriever another opportunity to pull you to the sidewalk. Yeah, so that's... Exactly. <laughs> you needed all the reasons you could, right. you could have. That yes. would be a really good one. Just well, to keep I, your bone health straight. Vitamins... Yeah, well, and I think, C, the, I think the weather, I think fresh air, even mm -hmm. if it's cold, we go out. Oh, oh absolutely. absolutely. You need yes. to be careful, right? Yeah. Yes. You need yeah, to, you know, walking don't want to... sticks are really nice. Yes. You don't need a cane, but a walking stick and, yeah. and the arm motions with walking yeah. sticks are good took, for you as well. Took, yeah. Took mom a while to <clears throat> But there is a learning curve that. with walking sticks and any type of assistive device, any type of assistive yeah. mobility device is actually a fall hazard. Is that right? Increases your. But fall. start this young. Is, this has got to be good. <laughs> this got to be good exercise. Yeah, yeah, right? exactly. absolutely. And some sunshine. We go this yeah. morning. It was dark, mm -hmm. but we good got to see some constellations, so that mm. was nice. But sunshine is nice, right? right. Oh, absolutely. It's so that's good. Yeah. And if you have someone to walk with, mm -hmm. I would think that's I maybe the best of both. Worlds. I don't recommend seniors walk by themselves. Yeah. Like and the, and always have that. your cell phone. Yep. Right. And mm -hmm. it's you know it's mm -hmm. it's an another opportunity for companionship, and other yeah. forms of endorphins because when we're with a friend, oh, and chatting absolutely. and you know it makes us yeah. feel good and that's another part about aging that's mm -hmm. so important is that we have relationship yeah. we be in a relationship we have companions and that we maintain those and the I mean, cognitive. Yeah, well, it, it all impacts to, the cognitive. Yeah. I mean, that's very yeah. key part of that. Like so you said, that physical, goes... Physical, social, yeah. mental, back absolutely. And forth. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I talked to that with my nursing students when they would walk into a room. I said, your, your older adult is now having to visually watch what you're doing, hear what you're saying, process what they're seeing, what, you know, what they're seeing and what they're hearing, and then formulate a, a verbal response yeah. and that's a lot of, of steps to go through for an older an older brain that is shrinking that isn't as functioning as quickly and promptly as as we were when we were younger but it seems to me that that's a great activity for the absolutely, brain absolutely because it helps Actually, keep I've those always, fluids I've going thought square dancing is one of the best things that you can do yeah. because everything yeah. that Teresa just said you were doing just like this and, you, and, you, and you're like having that. fun yes and it's a very social occasion but you have to listen to the call know what your yes. next move yep. is and coordinate with seven other people in a square I love square dancing and then laugh because you're all stepping yeah. on each other's toes well yeah. you're trying well, to well hopefully not that. hopefully yeah. not if it was me it'd be, yeah. there would be some toads <laughs> And it seems to me that for the, the nursing students, it mm -hmm. is well for them to know that they have to talk through it. 
oh, yeah. this is what we're doing. This is why we're doing it. They're not going to catch it all and, the time, but that that right. that that social um, you know interaction uh -huh. and the kindness that that shows, oh, right? Yeah. right? We're walking through that, and I'm I'm at a point. I you know me, I'm a social animal, that when, <laughs> no, they, when people really? come to work with me, I, I ask the question. I go, so we're doing this, da, 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 da. So that's not necessarily a bad uh, skill either, ask oh, the not. questions. Right. Yeah, make them cognitively go through the, the thinking process. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I got a call from a doctor's office, some ENT stuff, and... Um, it is my game to get them to laugh mm -hmm. because they can be a little tight, right? <laughs> they can just mm -hmm. be a little bit tight. Mm -hmm. And uh, I worked with this uh, surgeon some, some time yeah. ago, and he was like, uh, oh, no, you won't see him because you're a new patient. And I said, squeeze me? You know, I, I've right. been a patient since 2011. I don't yeah. know what you're talking about. Oh, and how long has it been since you, you've seen him? Well, 2011. Oh, you're a new, anyhow. Right. So that, that banter and, um, I don't know, maybe it's an older person thing to have that conversation. Is, yeah. Do you think that's generational well, as well? Could be. Humor is the best medicine. I have to squeeze that in because humor does help with that cognitive. Mm -hmm. In terms of physician but, but relationships... People, People don't get my yeah. humor all the time, so I. <laughs> well, I, they must be dry. I, I, That's something else. I offend yeah. on a regular basis. No, I don't believe it, Mark. <laughs> That's a good thing. So I, I like the humor. I like the the collegiality, the the mm -hmm. interaction. Yeah. That's all important. So um, um, physical activity. So I, I what mm -hmm. I'm hearing is I love the thing about the core. Um, training mm -hmm. the muscles, the balance, that's all good. But I'm also hearing, to a certain extent, almost any physical activity yeah. yes. is better than none. Ab yes. Absolutely. One of the worst yeah. things you can do is nothing. Absolutely. Yeah. Get up and walk around the house. If you don't want to go outside, walk around the house. Do some laps. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. go up and down the yeah. stairs if you can do if that you have safely. Stairs. Yeah. With right. handrails. Right. Yeah. But yeah. there's all kinds but of move. options now. I, you can go on YouTube. I do my I do my exercise routines off of videos oh, on my YouTube, wife and they're that way. awesome. Yeah. yeah, there's yoga, there's Tai Chi, there's Pilates, there's AARP. You can get on their page. <laughs> they do exercise classes. I mean, there's so yeah. much that you can do. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of resources. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Now I have a I have a standing desk. It, uh -huh. it I try oh, to get in at least an hour a day. You know, more is probably better. But I yeah. I, I, st I would I would think a standing desk. My wife was babysitting our our new grandson, and she brought home from our daughter's house an, an under the desk oh. uh, bike, mm -hmm. a little, a little desk <laughs> desk cycle they call mm -hmm. it. Um, that's interesting, mm -hmm. but um, you have to actually have a, a rising desk, a standing Did desk for it to fit. So I, just almost any of that is better yeah. than nothing, nothing at all. I, I, I recommend the silver sneakers for those of you who have the Medicare Advantage. Jeez mentioned that right. to silver me sneakers. as well. Silver sneakers, there's so much research to support the benefits psychologically, physically of just getting out of there. Of silver sneakers, yes. All right, yes. so in case the young'uns that are on here. They right? can do silver sneakers well, hold too. It, hold, it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> what is silver sneakers? That's what I think they might need to know. Oh, okay. I guess I take it for granted. People don't know that. Silver because, sneakers because is I know the New exercise Balance, program. New Balance has silver sneakers, right. but I don't know that they know what it's, you're talking about. So like the, it's, I think it's predominantly at the YMCA's. Okay. And maybe at other gyms as well. It's other gyms. It's, it's, other it's, gyms, a, it's an it's, insurance benefit. Yes. Oh, so, so you can get Medicare that. Advantage. Yes. So not all plans yeah. cover it, but mm -hmm. as she said, Medicare Advantage plans offer mm -hmm. to pay 
the dues or the fees for the yeah. gym. It's called the Silver Sneakers Program. So now yeah. you're not paying the monthly fee. The insurance company is paying yeah. that. And the reason they're doing that is because yeah. it's cost savings for them. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. you stay healthier. So there's one yeah. more way that lets you know how important this is. Mm -hmm. Okay, but, but but what's included in that? The, the access that. to the gym, you go there and walk, you it's go there and swim. It's an actual program where it's a class, like an aerobics class where they actually go in and and do various sorts of exercise. And sometimes they actually have them back to back where there are different levels of activity oh, God. for ability for different abilities. But it's a social interaction as well. Yeah. And then a lot of times the, the, you know, the people who come to the classes will actually go out for coffee or go out for breakfast afterwards. So there's also that social dynamic and there's that unity mm -hmm. at the, Got in it. the course and then the class. Mm -hmm. So there, you don't have to necessarily take the classes. I mean, no, you can do no. you could you could do water aerobics. You could do mm -hmm. so. There are classes designated silver sneakers, yeah. but you it's really the access to the you gym. You just got access. You got yeah. access to the gym to now do what, what you want. It's very it sweet. Okay, now I've heard that a couple of times. You'd have fun. Yeah, my my. <laughs> <laughs> My son worked uh, at the Y for, for quite a while, so I've heard it mentioned, but I didn't know what all it was. Okay, right, right. so uh, write that down. Silver, <laughs> Silver sneakers. sneakers. Write it down. Yes. Call the Y. Um, Call your, your Medicare insurance. Uh, and look, yes, you need to find yeah. that out as well. Yeah. And if you are re-upping, you know, whatever, that's something you might look at as well. Because yes. that, that would be... Yeah. So can I take a quick second here to make yes, a plug? Yes, please. This is the time of year that every <laughs> single person should be yes. reviewing their medical okay. insurance yeah. with yes. a qualified Medicaid yes. insurance provider. Plans change. Yes, they And are. I am so dumbfounded how people can go... 10 years with never looking at their plan. And I, I get angry at those insurance yeah. agents that sold them the plan that they've never yeah. reviewed because your needs may have changed. May Absolutely. very well be the best plan to stay on, but you don't know that mm -hmm. if you don't re review it. So yeah. now during open enrollment, it's mm -hmm. free. If you don't have an insurance agent, yeah. you can Google it. Uh, Medicare providers are really subject yeah, matter give experts. Us, give us a call. We've got a list. Right. we got yeah, a list of folks. There's plenty of them out there. Yeah. yeah. But do yeah. that now. So and I think it ends in January, right? Mm -hmm. uh, December seventh. Yeah. December seventh. Okay. Which is and then there's another period that opens yeah, up in there, January. There's a little but, funny window that happens after. Yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. December seventh is, of course, Pearl Harbor Day. So right. I just think <laughs> that is yes, really interesting that we do that. Uh -huh. So here's the question. This I'm sorry. This as you said <laughs> that, um, our whole lives, mm -hmm. right? We have to we have to assess where we are, what we're doing, how we're doing it. We have to look at our budgets. I mean, this is our yeah. whole life. Yeah. We got kids at home. There's school. There's school expenses. So we do this. That that just that, that's what we do. It seems like though there's this tendency to get to a certain age where now we want to coast. Mm -hmm. So you were saying it's it's mind boggling that they haven't reviewed it, but I don't think yeah. that's unusual. No, it right. is it's, not. It's it's unfortunate. What is that? Why is it we get to that point and well, oh, now think, we're coasting? I think a lot of it's just denial. Well, you know, I think I'm there's denial, older, and there's also just not it. knowing. Yeah. That yeah. this it's like your car insurance. You mm -hmm. nobody's out there advocating that you yeah. can get a free quote. Um, <laughs> they're out there pushing their plan right now, and that's a clue. Everybody's pushing their plan right now. Yeah. So find out about the other plans and, and which yeah. one is right for you. Yeah, Medicare, but what's your quality? We talked about this the other day. You know, what is your quality of life plan? Uh, yes. You know, older adults need to think about you know, the Medicare, the well, see, and that's, sneakers, that's where the I wills. Was, the, I was going. No, my... Okay, so that's where I was headed is it's not just the Medicare and the Advantage yeah, plan. Right. It's like we get to a certain age yeah. and we're done? Yeah. Nope. But if we're done, I, I, what I'm hearing is if we get to that point mentally, then we are done. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. 
it's probably a, a fairly steep slope from there if we just yeah, yeah. Yeah. it all depends. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's maybe right. not the cliff, but right. we could you know we could get the little the, yeah. the skis mm. going pretty fast. Well, this is where D and I are real helpful. You know, you come in and you do that comprehensive assessment figure out what their baseline is at this point, as well as what are they planning, what are their goals, Yeah. what are they planning to, to meet those goals for maintaining their quality of life, and then at the end of their life, what do you want? Well, um, I know some that want to live forever. I'm, I'm not in that camp. I, right. I don't know. Yeah. I, you know, the world yeah. is kind of scary right now. I'm not sure I want to be here forever. I, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not even the next four years. Well, Let's keep going. Uh, but <laughs> or just next year. Anyhow, um, so uh, now, D, you have, you talked to me a little bit about my data diary. And this is something mm -hmm. we know, uh, yeah. Dara, she's yes. the one that put this mm -hmm. together. Can you explain a little bit what this is? Because I think this is a great way to great gather job. information. Well, see, so this goes into... This is my care plan or my, my quality, quality of, of life plan. plan. And then I need to yeah. get some of that on paper or, or it's not on paper. On no, day. this, this, this is one a, isn't. This, this is, is cool. a great electronic yeah. version. And so yeah. my data diary has um, been converted to a database that you can now download onto your own computer. It's 256-bit encrypted, so it's the, the highest That's level of en encryption yeah. as possible. And then yeah. when you put it on your computer, you can put it further behind another password. So very yeah. safe and secure. But it's a place to put all of that information that needs... That, that someone will need at some yeah. point in time. I find yeah. it really helpful for me yeah. just now to have it. Um, but it's no, like... No, I think that's it's, wise. It's, I think it's that's like, wise. okay... You're here, too young. You don't know. Yeah, I know. No, no. Here, here's all my passwords in one place. Yeah. And it's secured behind a lot of security. So passwords. Yeah. Um, and then oh. you're ultimately just giving whoever mm -hmm. would be your designee a password to access all that, that data. information. So... Um, mm -hmm. Should you need help with accounts that you manage online? Yeah. You know, how do you get in? I had one couple who the husband did absolutely everything yes. and she was on nothing. Oh, there was nothing. no power of attorney Would document. Would you like to know how often that uh, Yes, so often. A lot, often. The woman yeah. could not even make nope. a change to her TV subscription program yep. oh, without no. a whole lot of additional work to go yep. on because yeah. none of that was shared, none of yeah. that was documented. It was not available to anybody. So our lives are very complicated in today's oh, world, and there's a lot yes. of information. So we need birth certificates at different times, death certificates. We need mm -hmm. uh, divorce papers. We need yeah. you know, a, a way to have one of the things I did early on as I was helping with my parents and I was assembling their medication list and history list yeah. is I thought, I need to do this for myself. Yes. And now when I see yes. a new provider... I just have to print it out and I just put C Hand attached. I don't yeah. have to fill out all yeah. their form anymore because I just put yeah. C attached. Yeah. Yeah. So a place I for all a, of that to go. I took a photo of my medications. Uh-huh. Perfect. Let me send that to you. Yeah. Because then I didn't have to and remember to how that. to spell. Right? Yes, those medications have really yeah. fun. Okay, so I, I'm loving this yeah. idea. Yeah. As an attorney, I love this idea yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. Um this then can be the the kind of the the headquarters. Um, it's kind of the foundation. It's yeah, all the paperwork and and the then office. can be readily shared with the the, the right people. The people right. you want. And and let me recommend that yeah. uh, at least one of the kids mm -hmm. is a, an appropriate person. Well, hopefully, if not, if not all of them. Right. And I know yeah. that doesn't always work. Right. I get that. No. Um, we have seen, I don't know how many times, it's either him or her that yeah. has done everything. Yeah, well, you've got one spouse more in charge and more yeah, knowledgeable my, and informed than others. My yeah. wife grabs me and drags me into the computer and, you know, she's got yes. this all put out. And I got yes. that, but there's a bunch of stuff that I do mm -hmm. that I have to then walk her back Good. through. Good, right. Well, it's good that you communicate and do that. Yeah. That's huge. Right. Well, Maybe probably ought to do it more. Yeah. I just hate it. So, yeah, well, and that and comes back to my question: Why do we get to a certain age and then we start to coast? Our brains are in overload. 
This yes, is a lot of stuff. You were just saying and all the stuff that we need to have. Yeah. And we get to a certain point and we're like, I'm done. It's right. that cognitive challenge as you get older. It's hard yeah. to retain, you know, it's harder to process and retain some of that information. Yeah, so. I know, but we know the size of the motor in the 1967 <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you know Mustang. The, you know what the cigarette lighter is, too. And car. we know we yeah. know what the, the dimmer switch, we know all those things, yes. but all this other stuff is, is difficult. Well, and you know, yeah. there's people to help with this, too. Oh, yeah. oh. So, oh, yes. So, oh. so the collection there, so for instance, Dara, Will is available to help uh -huh. with it. There are um, mm -hmm. as a profession called a daily money manager. Yes, who we now have um, a couple in our area, yes. and they are for hire to help do yeah. these kinds of things. Yeah, so you don't have to do it alone, and you, you have can to do get it all, help, and you yeah. can get help to put it together. Yeah. but ultimately somebody is going to need it at some point in time, and probably mm -hmm. sooner rather than later. Yeah. So. To, take, to be proactive makes everybody's life much more helpful. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. But I wonder, yes. I'm thinking you and I are, I won't say what age we are, I guess you already mentioned that. I did. I am much younger. Yes, <clears throat> I know you are. Much younger than you. Oh, really? Yeah, at least. At I, least got, I got you beat, honey. Yeah, at least a year. At least a year younger. Anyhow, um, but I think that it's easy. It used to be easy. Mm-hmm. And so those generations above us, I can see that being exceptionally difficult mm -hmm. to have all that yes. and try to gather it. And to it, automate yes. it. There's yes. some, some people yeah. who don't want to have anything yeah, to they, do with technology. Uh, I see that all the time. I know. I had a conversation yes. with my junior associate attorney yesterday. Uh -huh. And she was chastising me on my choices of, you know, uh, of technology. And I tried to help her to understand she was wrong. <laughs> um, okay, so um, I, I love that. And so it's my data diary. Yes. Yeah. And, and actually yes. what Dara has done is, yeah. um, so here's a list of some, many of the categories here. But my data diary, she's actually offering the first oh, six cool. modules free. Oh my. Oh, wow. So that Good. includes your basic personal information, your health information. So you can just go try it out for free. So you need to go to um, mydatadiary.com. And if you put in slash partner, um, then if you decide to buy the whole version, which is only $65, you'll Oof, get a $15 that's kind of, or 15%. That's, that's a really good deal. That's you'll, expensive. You'll oh get a 15% discount as well. <laughs> so mydatadiary.com forward slash partner. Yeah. And that's because I believe so strongly in this that I've become um, an affiliate. My goal is not to make any money. That's not what I do. My goal is to make it available for everybody who needs it. And yeah. so that's what you get is because I've, I'm passionate about this. You get a yeah. discount by using that and code. Huge. And then when you get in there, you enter life changes. But we'll send yeah. this out, a copy of this with the handouts when it goes out. Oh, very good. Right. Now, um, you can also put in here, I see, health information. Right. Yes. Which, um, by the way, can be huge. Yes. Because there may be things that you did before the kids were aware enough to know right. that that thing happened. Mm -hmm. And so if they get involved in your care decisions, in your health care decisions, which is what mm -hmm. most people do, mm -hmm. not always, yeah. but yeah. most, mm -hmm. uh, the kids are involved, um, then they're not dealing from ignorance. They can go, no surprises. Oh, yeah. Didn't mom yeah. have that surgery, that thing, and yeah, right. they could go to this mm -hmm. um, and get that type of information, Absolutely. Right? Print out a report, give it to the provider, give it yeah. to the ED. Easy. I mean, this is... And the, and the, the medications. The, the, uh. the preventive tip. Yeah. When, unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. as we started this, when there's a fall, mm -hmm. when there's a crisis, that's yeah. not when you want to be doing this. No. You need to have this information ahead of time so that mm -hmm. you can be a good medical advocate. Yeah, yeah. you want to be can, proactive. Right. So You're to right. have this information readily at your fingertips is key. So there, uh, there's the old adage, right? The best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. Yeah. The second best time is yeah. now. Don't, mm -hmm. don't wait another 20 years. Right. Absolutely. This is something, though, that somebody can jump in now. Today. Yes. 
mm-hmm. and, and get mm-hmm. going on. Right. And it and it's not just for those of us yeah. that are um, seasoned, well seasoned. This is Everybody. once you turn 18, you know, yeah. you are now re- a responsible adult and have to well you're 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 an adult. Yeah. Thank you. And and you need to <laughs> you Let's need clarify. to be prepared for yourself as well to be able yeah. to mm-hmm. advocate. So this is yeah. this is for every one of us in a, in our adult years as well as, as to be as planful. disabled. You know, mm-hmm. younger adults who who are disabled? This would be you know, their great care for provider, someone to their, have. Yeah, right. yeah, absolutely. Right. Oh my goodness! Anything to be proactive. So you know, you were yeah. talking with Robert earlier about the cost of bringing in caregivers, yeah. or when somebody yeah. needs to move to uh, have more help at assisted living. This is st- uh, you use this information constantly. Yeah. This everybody who has anything to do with mm-hmm. your health and well-being yeah. needs this information. Just, so to have it one place that you can just print yeah. a report uh, is phenomenal. Yes, and so you know, they don't have to have access to all of your information they don't need your financial information to help Mm -hmm. make medical care decisions so the medical staff doesn't need to know you know right you know all of that right your power of attorney might need to know that probably needs to know it but your medical doesn't need to know all of that so if you're concerned that you're now you put this in and then when you let somebody in you're sharing it with everybody you don't have to. No, well, actually, I wouldn't share it, but with your 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 yeah. key person. Yeah, that's but that, you can yeah. print a report. That's of my it. that's so my you can, point. You can, you, can control. Have an, you can have an output. Okay. Yeah. We're winding down. We mm-hmm. got a few minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have two thoughts in my head um, that I would like to go to. Um, my um, my concerns for many many people is that they they don't have a quality of life plan Mm -hmm. meaning they don't know where they want to be they don't know Mm -hmm. what they don't know yeah and Mm -hmm. uh d i know that you have um a a a, a, it's you you call it the 10 essential items to prepare Mm -hmm. this is a, a kind of an outline questions just questions to ask Right. And so these mm-hmm. these are not necessarily the the health stuff, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But these are things eh, often parent child conversations. And yeah. so do do you want to talk to us a little bit about this? Sure, I would be very yeah. happy to. Um, and and I think we've touched on a number of those things yeah. in the course of our conversation already. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. But we've got to figure out a way to open up that communication, which these can are be, conversation starters. Yeah, can be right. exceptionally difficult. Right. So that's why mm-hmm. I was coming back to this. Okay. So it is it, having the conversations yeah. can be real yeah. difficult, and it. And as I said earlier, it's not just about those of us who are 65 plus. I mean, this this we need to be able to have this conversation yeah. at any age. And so it can be as simple as, and the holidays are a really good time to be talking about this kind of stuff because we're sitting around the table well, anyway. We get together. Yeah. And it's, yeah. hey, mom and dad, you know, Bill and I are putting together our estate plan. We're working with this great mm-hmm. attorney, Mark White, and... And he, you know, has said we need to cover these topics. And so as we're, he and I are working through this, we're thinking, oh gosh, we haven't had this conversation with with you you. and we need to know what's important to you too. So maybe could we, over the course of our weekend together, Mm -hmm. you know, take some time and just kind of start this conversation. Um, Here's what we're learning and here's what happened to a friend and this is what didn't go well and we'd like to prevent that. We'd like to, you know, so Uh you, you, you go slow and asking for permission is really important, I think. Um, yeah. is not to come in with a hammer. It doesn't warrant a hammer at this point in time. It's This is a conversation and it's about sharing and we're sharing as well. So I, I, how we come about this will make a very big difference about how it's received. I, but the holidays are a great time to kind of start talking about mm-hmm. this. 
um, decade birthdays are another time, you know, oh, yeah. you just reached 80, mom, and, you know, things have, mm -hmm. have changed, and they're going to yes. continue to change. So yeah. let's kind of talk about what that might look like. And a lot of times people don't really know what we mean when we talk about quality of life. No. Because right. everyone's idea is a little different. Well, and, and it's kind of mm -hmm. about this, it's a little, we hear quality of life, but Quality of life has to do with many areas of life. It's mm -hmm. not just one thing. It's not just where we want to live. It's, not, it's mm -hmm. who do we want to be around. It's who is in our social circle. What are the things that make us happy? What are the mm -hmm. things that don't make us happy? Maybe we want to let somebody know we really don't want Cousin Joe in our face a lot because that's not mm -hmm. a good relationship, though Joe likes to stick his nose in it. So it's really getting clear. It's, it's, so It's a brother-in-law. Yeah, I yeah. Have a yeah. So yeah. you know, we the... we do this with our healthcare power of attorney clients. We spend a lot of time going through what do they value, and so yes. my team. So That's I've huge. done it for myself, and right now my team we're doing it as a team. What does this oh, look like good. for you? Oh wow! And it is really interesting. It's like so. I know part of my quality of life is I need to see green. I need to see flowers. I need to have sunshine. Here's the music I like in the a.m., p.m., and in the evening. Um, here's the beverages I like during the day. Here's who I like to be around. And so it goes yeah. through a lot of different kinds of things. And Good. so starting conversations like that. Hey, what's most important to you in the morning when you get up? You know, what yeah. do you like to do? And sometimes it's just our daily ritual. So there's mm -hmm. the so start with the low hanging fruit. Yeah. And then work up to the more challenging things because it many people have difficulty talking about dying yes. and oh. what what's important to them around mm -hmm. that. Like I'd like to be uh, I'd like to be composted in a mushroom shroud. That's a little out there, uh, but I really believe okay. about being composted, and I love mushrooms. Yeah. So, um, so, so. Are these you, edible mushrooms? No, stop! Don't go there. <laughs> well, why not? Mycelium is a really a foundational part of life. But, yeah. but so yeah. you see the 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 humor of that yeah. is like it kind of dissipates. Yeah the potency of yeah. that conversation. So truly, I'd yeah. be interested in being composted, but it starts to cover, well, no, I'd rather be cremated or I'd rather. Yeah. So these are all planting. things that are we need to be talking about. And uh -huh. we do have this uh, interesting society that doesn't like to do that. So no. now we have death no. cafes. We've got one coming up in October. Safe place to just go talk about whatever you want no. relative to that. But to die, but yeah. our culture, we have really pushed off and, and made to talking about dying taboo. And a lot of people and have yet, ideas. And yet, but. it's going to happen to every one of us. Yeah. Well, that's the, the statistics are. Yeah, the Fairly statistics. Fairly high percentage. A hundred percent. But you, you want to yeah. talk about that well before somebody has a fall. <laughs> and, and before they fall, before they have a major injury, because once... You, you've had that fall. You've hit yeah, your what, head. What, what, Things you get had, downhill fast. You had some statistics nice. on after a fall. After a fall. Well, an ear doc told me that you got about a six-month mortality after a fall in somebody who's 65 to 70 years old. And that's pretty drastic, but you've got one out of, of 25 or one out of four people, five people are going to fall and have that major injury. Good grief. And that's really high. And so, you know, this planning, the data diary, the, the thinking about planting the seeds and thinking about what is it that I want when I am no longer able to physically get up, not able to, you know, I need help getting to the bathroom or getting dressed. What is my, what's my quality of life going to be at that point? And how can we help me get through those that the that last chapter i i joke that's, no that's so surprising that <laughs> not you just, i know you have to my uh, my great grandmother um we thought she was going to make it to 100 uh, she made it to 99 in several months um but the joke was she just didn't know she could die she did not know oh that that was an option. She was hanging yeah. on for dear life. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a good yeah. one. Um, and the quality of life was not yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and her, she'd been a widow yeah. for 30 something years. Wow, good for her. 
20 something years. Well, this is where hospice. Well, and, and palliative care. So, yeah, so she was on her own. It was not a high quality of life. She couldn't hear. Um, she loved her grandkids and great grandkids. We, we all have Afrigans that mm -hmm. she knitted. Mm -hmm. or oh, my, crocheted. there's an old term. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, um, but her quality of life was not good. And it just seems to me she didn't know that was an option. Um, but the flip side of that is there's uh, there's a thousand decisions that need to be made mm -hmm. after a fall or some other mm -hmm. event, um, mm -hmm. and the hospital is under some pressure to kick you out. Mm -hmm. okay. That did I say that wrong? Um, no. Discharge. Discharge. Um, they 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 can't keep you very long. There's some no. pressure on them to same with rehabs to move you out. Yeah. So that's a backup. We're going to move you to rehab, but we still have a thousand decisions to make. Oh, yeah. Um, and if you're not conscious at that time, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then someone else is going to make all these decisions. Oh. And if we haven't had this conversation beforehand, Man. right? then what are we doing? Right? Well, yeah. we got to have yeah. her hang on for just dear life. Yeah. She's going to make it. I had one lady, she was going to make it to 113 because her cousin made it to 112. And she Holy was going to outlive her cousin. And her, her lifestyle was, was, was not good. Yeah. It, was, it was not good. So what are we doing? We're well, going to hang on to them, mm -hmm. no. get them stabilized into uh, you know, a quality of life that is, is not Abysmal. Great. That's yes. that so dependent on the situation. That depends where it comes back up. But I you know, get what it. are the chronic conditions? What's the trajectory I know. of those chronic conditions? You know, people with dementia, you really want to to have those discussions early. Yeah. I have I've had people with dementia who've actually have decided to up the the fiftieth wedding anniversary a year earlier because one of the spouses had dementia and she wasn't gonna you know, her, She's not gonna she know wasn't going to remember in a year. So the whole family pulled together and they had a, a big anniversary celebration a year ahead. See, and that's, to, to me, is, that's a big thing yeah, that you can huge. only pull off if we've had the conversation. Right, you know. Right? About we, what's yeah. important to you. Correct. Yeah, we've, absolutely. We've, right. got, we've got our mm -hmm. team on the same page. Right. And to your yeah. point, Mark, the team, yeah. not one child versus the yeah. other oh child, um, yeah. but everybody yeah. talking together. Because how often yeah. do you see that where we've got mm -hmm. one or two yeah. children on one page and oh, yes. somebody, usually the one that lives further away on a completely different page, thinking oh, everybody yeah. thinks they know what mom or dad wants yeah. and they're in direct conflict with each other. So we or, have to talk about this. Or one's in another state and really doesn't know because that person's know. a couple years younger or in a completely different know. lifestyle mode and, and, and they're they, working and they have they kids. Show up, and, they show up oh. and the older sister, because it's always the yeah. older sister, they show lot. up and the older sister's doing a horrible job. Right. They're just doing a horrible yeah. job because, well, they haven't been there. Right. Oh, mom and dad have really declined. Now it happens. I've mm -hmm. seen this, yeah. that the older sister yeah. has just enough denial or yeah. it's just been such a slow it's curve. It's been slow. Yeah. You don't see yeah. it quite as in the same way. And the one that's been gone shows up. You know, That's has... phenomenal. That that can really tell you a lot. Yeah. You know, I'll have my siblings come over and, and when they're here and they were visiting my father before he passed, it was like... How are things different? Give me an update from uh, your perspective. That's a great question. Let's work mm -hmm. together and let's see what you're seeing compared to what I'm seeing. Right. That's a great question. And, and that that's a works, great approach. That that works yeah. really well to kind of and that gets that's everybody on the same yeah. page. Well, and that's exceptional. But I, I, I think yeah. that's a superb. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that. That's yeah. not what I see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's it's yeah. usually the the the, 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 the oldest heads. bumpy yeah, yeah families the oldest are daughter you in tears. Like I'm just doing the best that I right. can. You know yes. what? Yes. They don't pay me. No. I quit no. my job. This is what I'm doing, and the the siblings. Um, need to yeah. say thank you yeah. a lot. You get the resentment factor. Yes. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. So Absolutely. when when we do our planning and we have the fiduciaries, the power of attorney, mm -hmm. uh, trustee, that type of yeah. thing, I I push them hard to track their time and get paid. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you can do that now. Oh, they can do it. Yeah. 
And, and they're like, well, no, I would never charge mom and dad. I go, you don't understand. This is not about mom and dad. This is about you and your siblings. Yeah. Right. They don't have a clue how much time and effort you put into yeah, this. Right. Absolutely. Document it all. One of your siblings will and appreciate it. And yeah. they'll pull you aside and give you a big hug and say thank you. Yeah. Others will, what are you doing? I don't know what you do. You're not, right. you're not yeah. spending enough it's time a, with mom and dad. Right. It helps family understand what's all involved. It also helps you trending to plan forward. You know, what yes. are the care needs? If you're looking at bringing in some in-home care, you've got a record of, okay, this is what we're doing. This is what the care needs are. And then going forward, mm -hmm. you've got at least some information. Yes. Planning. So, Dee, we've talked a number of times about the mediation that you are, I don't know, so willing, but mm -hmm. willing to jump <laughs> into. Right. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Um, how much of what we've talked about today is critical to that situation and, and the mm -hmm. lack of information that people have that make that difficult. Well, it's essential. I mean, it's foundational. Yeah, it I think that yeah. that uncovering and the sharing of information about everything that's been going on mm -hmm. in the time that it takes and how often what has yeah. started out as a contentious issue really kind of melts away because it was yeah. really lack of information, lack yeah. of visibility yeah. to the full picture. And mm -hmm. having now have that information people come at it from a different direction and, and mm -hmm. things can be turned. So that's why I, I do enjoy the mediation piece of it because it's really, yeah. Yeah. it's taking a, a situation where there's just a lot of unknowns and, mm -hmm. and making it bring known, it, bring yeah. it up. make it known. Yeah. And, and you know, more often than not, people come around. They get there. Yeah. yeah. They get there. Yeah. They just needed to be on the yeah. same page. And so that's everything mm -hmm. that we're talking can about. We, is let's just help people get on the same can page. Can we send you to Israel right now? <laughs> no. Gaza well, Strip. Yeah, and, well, that's, and I think that's we're not going there. there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's, that's going to be difficult. That's yeah. huge. Well, I thank you both. I think that um, um, I I don't want to simplify too much, but you know the planning ahead, contacting. You mm -hmm. now, yeah. as yeah. opposed to later, opens right. up so many options. It makes life so much easier for all involved. Yes. If, if everybody knows what they what yeah. they don't know right now, and you have got some information for planning forward, you kind of understand some trajectories. Yes. And have the experience of some experts to say, okay, this is what what this you're likely to see going forward, yeah. especially with well, chronic conditions. And, and one fall. Everyone's only one fall yeah. away. And options. I mean, that's the thing, yeah. is the options. I mean, both Catherine that you yeah. spoke with earlier and mm -hmm. Robert, is there's a lot of options out there. There's so many options mm -hmm. out there that people don't realize. I, I was telling you about the, rook, the book, Right Place, Right Time. Yeah. Um, I'm loving that book. All of the different models that are coming up with yeah. home sharing and... Um, I mean, so creative. Yeah, there's so the much technology. out there. And this is what we do for a living. Yeah. So we're devouring all this. So you just yeah. utilize us. Pick our brains. Yep. Pick all right, brains. we got to run. It's time for a bio break, a little more protein, bio perhaps break. some caffeine. <laughs> and we'll be back. Um, uh, some guy named Kurt Halderson. I, you know, I'm I a little biased, but I he's awesome. I don't know who that is. Thank you, Mark. We're, we're going to try to figure out how to pay for some of this. Thank you awesome. for being here. Thank you. Thank you very Appreciate much, it. Mark. You much. Okay.